Hi, this is Mary Ellen with Portraits of Me, and today I'm coming to you with my June TBR picks that I'm going to pick from these two jars here. This is a new idea that I came up with for this year. I've only done maybe three pulls this year because I kind of got distracted with some readathons. So the last time I actually did this was in March. I skipped April and May, and the reason being is because May was middle grade May that I wanted to participate in. March was actually middle grade March, so I read a lot of books that month as well. So I'm not sure why I skipped April, but I am back to pick my books for June. Just a little recap for those who are new. I have two jars here. This jar right here is full of books that I received through subscription boxes. So I have books here that consist of Owl Crate, Owl Crate Jr., and Page Habit. And then I have a smaller jar here. And what's inside that jar is all the books I received last year as gifts from either my birthday or Christmas. I put them all into that jar so I can get to them this year and hopefully read most of those. So these are the two jars I'm going to be picking my June books out of. I'm going to be picking two books. But before I do my picks for the month of June, I would like to go over the two books that I had pulled out of the jars for the month of March. And those two books were Haven by Mary Lindsay and American Emperor by David O. Stewart. So these are the two books that I pulled out for the month of March and that I was supposed to read in the month of March. So this first book here, Haven, I did complete in the month of March. I did finish this book and it was a really, really good book. I really enjoyed it. I like the characters. I like the mystery. I like the trials the main character went through. I like the relationship between Freddie and Rain. I thought that was great chemistry between them. I was satisfied throughout the whole story reading it. And I really, really like this book. And I can't remember if I gave it four or five stars, but I'll put the stars here on the screen of how I rated it on Goodreads. But I really enjoyed this book. I do highly recommend it if you like young adult fantasy. The second book I read was this one right here. And as you can see, I still have the bookmark, so I really didn't get very far in this book. I got to page 76. I kind of put this book on the back burner for the month of March because I was reading a lot of middle grade books. And this one here takes a lot of time to read because it's written as a history book. It's not so much a flowing story as reading about someone's history. Like if you're in school and you're reading a history book, it kind of had that feel to it. So it's not a real quick read. And so since I was trying to fit in so many middle grade books, I stopped reading this one. But it was interesting. I like the stories that it shared about Aaron Burr. And I do eventually want to pick this one up again. I'm just not in the mood for it right now. But I'm hoping to complete it this year. And those are the two books that I read from my jars in the month of March. And so let's get picking for the month of June because I'm really excited to find some books to read. Okay, so the first jar I'm going to pick out of is my subscription box jar. And that's this one right here. So let me shake it up. Pull out a slip of paper. Ooh, and let's see what book it is. And the book is... Grant It by John David Anderson. So let me pull that book and let's see what that one's about. So this is the book right here, Grant It. I got this one out of my Owl Crate Jr. box subscription. And this one sounds like a really fun tale. I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. It's about a little fairy. I don't know if you can see her on the dog right here. But she is a fairy that grants wishes. So she's on an assignment to grant some wishes. And I guess during her wish granting fiasco something happens it looks like she befriends this dog and they go on, on an adventure together so i'm looking forward to reading this one and like all owl crate junior books this one is we did get a book plate that was signed by the author so there's the wonderful signature so i'm looking forward to reading this one during the month of june okay let's get to the next jar which is the jar of birthday presents and christmas presents Okay, let's swish things up a bit. Not, don't peek, and then I'm gonna pull from the bottom. 
Okay, so here's the book from my birthday. So here's the lucky slip of paper that says I'm going to be reading Orphan Train Sisters. Oh, this one's good. a nice short book that I can get through really quickly in June. So let's pull that one. I'll give you a go on what this one's about. So here's the book right here. It is Nettie and Allie Crook, Orphan Train Sisters by E.F. Abbott. So this book is about these two sisters who are taken from their parents, or not taken. It's about these two sisters whose parents place them in an orphanage. Even though they have parents, the parents place them there when they're like five years old. So they're pretty much abandoned by their parents. And then they get adopted by another couple who's headed west. I believe. So this is their story of not knowing why their parents put them up in an orphanage and I guess it's the mystery surrounding that as well as their adventure going west with the with their new parents that adopted them. And I think this is oh it is. It's based on a true story. So this one should be an interesting read as well. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. This one is really thin, so I'm excited to read it for the month of June as well as grant it because this is my first time or my first month where I'm going to be doing a read along with another booktuber. And that read along is going to be with Ed Shara for Shara Me With Books. And I'll put her link below if you want to check out her channel. But the book we want to read together in the month of June is this book right here. Everlost. So I'm kind of glad that I have a, a nice fun children's book and another this one I think this is a middle grade book as well and it's really thin so I'm kind of glad I have two easy books to read so I can go ahead and enjoy this one as well with Adshara. I'm not sure how we're going to do our read our buddy read along because I've never done one before and she's never done one before but it's going to be a fun first time experience but the book we're reading is Everlost and it's about two kids brother and sister their names are Nick and Ellie and they die in a car crash. And so they end up in this in-between world where they have to learn either to survive in it or escape it. And if they escape it, they become spirits in our world. So it sounds like a very interesting story and concept. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one and talking about it with Edshara. So this is the book we are going to read and I'm really looking forward to that story. So, so far for the month of June, I have three books on my to be read. Pile. And those are the three books I'm going to be reading in the month of June. I might try to sneak in a few others as well if I can get through these ones. So stay tuned for my wrap up in July to see what I thought of these books and if I enjoyed them. You can always follow me on Goodreads because I do keep track of all my books there in real time. So if you want to know which book I'm starting and where I'm at and what I think of it, follow me there and you will see my progress. The link will be below in my description box. And that's it for this video. I am so glad you joined me to find out which books I'm going to be reading this month in June. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like. I am going to be posting a video a week. My next video scheduled is going to be either my middle grade May wrap up of all the books I read in the month of May, or it's going to be my May book haul, all the books I, I purchased in the month of May, which is actually quite a few. I went to a few yard sales and library sales and Barnes and Noble. So I'm excited to share those books with you in my next video. So subscribe so you don't miss out on those two videos coming up. As always, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below. I would love to start a conversation with you in the comments. And I will see you in my next video, you guys. And as always, I don't know how to end this video. So I'm just gonna say bye.